What's up, 2021 Survivor? It's Baxter Terry out here, right outside of Breckenridge, Colorado, in Mohawk Lakes. Jeff Proats, CVS production crew, what is up? I cannot express how much excitement is going through me right now to be able to have the opportunity to get in front of you guys. Y'all, I am your next sole survivor. day in the life of Baxter at work. Uh, generally me taking orders back, shipping, receiving, processing paperwork, calling customers. Uh, I work in distribution, so it's always fast paced, um, high energy. Uh, you always have to be on top of things. Most important thing to me in life is definitely my family. My family is is my rock. Uh, they mean everything to me. I don't. I, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without them. My biggest influence in life has always been my dad. He's uh he's been my best friend my entire life. He's been my rock, uh, the guy I lean on, the person I always ask for advice. Um, and tragically, um, last year in summer of 2019. I got a call from my mom when I was living out here in Colorado saying that he had uh, passed away. Um, it completely rocked my world. It brought me off my feet um, and gave me a complete new uh, perspective on life. I know one of the one of the big questions going into this is uh, why should I be on 2021 Survivor? Um, well, I think I think uh, the when the first Survivor was first started, they did a really good job of uh, breaking it down to outwit, outlast, outplay. Um, and if you go outwit, you have your mental aspect. You know, you're going to carry. I think I carry a lot of strong features. Like I'm a positive guy. Uh, I do well under pressure and keep a nice level-headed aspect to me. Um, I have the ability to always stay determined and motivated. Um, I like to consider myself a creative person as well. And when you're in situations like out in the wilderness, you need to be creative. Uh, outplay, I, I'm a social guy. I can hang with people. I can be someone who everybody wants to be around. Um, you know, I can also not be dependent on others. Um, I can be a leader, but also not be too much of a leader to where someone would be considered, see me as a bossy person. Uh, I can lay low, always be cool, ABC, um, and yeah, I don't know, I feel like a good example of that is the way I was raised, and I took, a, took part in a lot of social activities growing up, uh, outside of, uh, outside of, you know, basic school and work, um, I was always mingling with friends, trying new crowds of people, and, uh, trying to adapt to each of my social situations, and always being aware and conscious of where I'm at. That's another important thing in the game, I've noticed, uh, you gotta know where you're at, in relation to everybody else, how everybody else views you at that moment in time, you see. And uh, then you have the, uh, oh, there's Mountain Dog. Uh, you have the uh, physical out aspect, you know, outlast. You know, I'm a strong guy, definitely consider myself strong, conditioned, agile, um, tough, I'm a callous guy, as you can see. Woohoo! always barefoot, love getting barefoot up in the mountains. Uh, I'm not afraid to get dirty, uh, examples being, you know, I'm always biking, going uh, trail riding with my friends, always going on new backpacking journeys and just discovering awesome things like this. Uh, it truly is cool. Um, uh, you know, I definitely think my strongest feature that would get me through something like this would be my social aspects, um, always being able to manage, you know, manage myself around others and know where I'm at and adapt to the environment around me, but also the mental aspect. Um, I've been through tragedy. Um, you know, like I said, I, I did lose my father last year. Um, I've been, I feel like I've been at the bottom of the bottom. Um, I know how to bring myself up without depending on others. And I think those are really important things to carry in a game like Survivor. You know, you have to really, you know, have, be able to lead yourself and internally know that, hey, I'm happy where I'm at. 
I'm not worried about what other people think, but at the same time, you're always conscious of where you're at in other people's eyes. Survivor tip 101, don't lose your shit. Don't lose your shit. Don't lose your shit. If I was on an island, what one thing would I bring? I mean, that's just a question people overlook. Now, if you get into what two or three things, then you can, you know, you know, you can maybe throw a pitcher of margaritas in there or something. But one thing on an island, machete, big, big buoy knife, something, something sturdy, something with a nice wooden strong handle, you know, multi-purpose knife, you know. I got it. always got my Crocs. Comfy shirts, comfy shorts. Always have the buff on. Got the Crocs though. Got the Crocs. All times. Favorite board game? I mean, maybe Uno. Most of the time, I just too ADHD to sit down long enough to put up with an entire round of Monopoly or some something like that. So yeah, no, not a big board game guy. Uh, games in general? Yeah. Board games? Come on. Let's, come on, people. If I could have dinner with one person in the world, ah, oh, I've always loved this question. It's an easy one for me. Uh, Dave Matthews. Lead singer and songwriter of the Dave Matthews Band. Um, he is my, uh, he's my musical inspiration. I fell in love with him at a younger age in junior high and uh, it just kind of carried on into the rest of my life. And yeah, it, he's somebody who I've always, always looked to, looked up to in a, you know, life, life standpoint, I definitely agree with a lot of his morals and stuff, but uh, most importantly, his music just, it speaks to me. It's cliche and cheesy as that is. Uh, love to get down to some Dave. I'm a huge biker, um, but I'm not out in the mountains and I'm not watching football. I'm normally trying new awesome foods or hanging out with my cat, Mitzi. Uh, she is my number one. She's my day one. Uh, yeah, she's the absolute love of my life, and uh, yeah, keeps me keeps my crazy edge to me. Uh, but no, I I truly am a I do live a lucky and awesome life. Woo! One thing you should probably know about me, uh, total jokester, total prankster. Love to get pranked, love to be pranked. Uh, love a good laugh. Nothing, uh, nothing's better in this world than a good, just funny, from the gut, ball out laughter. That's just nothing better. And I think pranks and playing jokes on your friends, you know, within appropriate reason, you know, always gotta maintain that appropriate age. CBS production crew, Jeff Probst. Once again, I can't express what an honor this is to be able to have this this moment to express why I truly do believe I could be your one and only sole survivor. Why I could last all 40 days on that island and I could come out on top. I would love this opportunity. I'm truly a believer in defining moments and that everybody has their their defining moment in life. And and I believe this. I'm. I'm manifesting it, and I, and I just truly believe this. Survivor 2021, see y'all next year. Much love, y'all. Survivor 2021, where you at?